share it and stuff too. Hello. Hi everyone. And welcome to this week's live in Okinawa. You sound so fake. We are your hosts, Matt, Muteki Matt, and Kit Zakimi. Nope. No? <laughs> and we're going to go to Hacksaw Ridge today, guys. Um, oh, it's offering me to share. Oh, okay. That's all right. Aloha, Sai. And we brought Kit's laptop. We'll see how long oops, it lasts. So I could read your guys' comments hey, better. Hey, Oki Life, what's up? <laughs> you were close, though. <laughs> oh, I got this thing out of Family Mart with my drink. I'm, I'm excited to open it. It's the little things in life, you know. I got this with my tea drink. A little, uh, what is it like a cooler? It's got aluminum in it, and it came with my drink. The way to keep my drink cool. I don't think they ever really work, but they probably not. help a little bit. <laughs> okay, that's a little better. Hello, reading comments here. Is it working? Well, I can see the comments. Cool, cool. And then I can pin some. So we're going to Hacksaw Ridge today. Um, I've never been, I've never even really seen the movie. <laughs> so I don't know too much about it. When the movie Hacksaw Ridge came out, I didn't even know it was about Okinawa. Yeah. Not gonna lie, uh, just so we don't sound like complete idiots, we did look up the Wikipedia for it. So, uh, I didn't even do we that. are pros. I read it out loud. Were you not listening? No, I knew about Desmond Doss. Oh, okay. But I already knew that, though. I'm hitting the wrong buttons here. Matt's getting everything ready. We're doing a new setup today. Should I just start going, though? gonna be interesting. I need another like GPS thing. Yeah, we brought like a bunch of equipment today, guys. Yeah, I'd like to see it. Neither of us are very into war movies. We've never been like a war movie buff, so that's yeah. probably why neither of us saw it. If I knew it was about Okinawa, I would have watched it. Uh, which is kind of embarrassing as an Okinawan <laughs> that I didn't know about it, but neither well, how of us many, are... How many of the local Okinawans are talking about that movie? Do they talk about it too? Probably, I guess. Hollywood movie. I've never heard an Okinawan talk about it. Okay, well, that explains yep. that. Tamago Sando. That's one of my favorites. We're at Lawson's right now. Oh, yeah. I heard, so everybody's been talking about Cobra Kai lately. Like, what is, is it, is it, is it really that good? Everyone's talking about it. We're in front of Lawson's right now. I got the milk tea. By the way, guys, for those of you that know about my milk tea comparison, I tried the uh, Lipton one <laughs> that everyone's talking about. I found it. Are you guys and out it's of pretty good. three Tamago Sando delivery at Oki Life? Where are you guys located? So they said it's really that good, so we should... Oh, wait, no. Uh -huh. Cobra Kai. Everyone's talking about Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai season three is set in Oki. Oh, uh, that's uh, why uh, everyone... Uh, are they actually filming it, or is it like Yeah, it's karate? a shot in Okinawa. Oh, okay. They're in Yomitan. Uh, I was going to say, because if it's like Karate Kid 2, where they're like, it's in Okinawa. But yeah, it's not. watch it up, Karate Kid 2 to bring back some... Learn about Okinawa. Like, that's cool. Um, I'll have to watch it. I haven't seen it. It's on Net, uh, YouTube? Right? It's on YouTube. I think originally yeah. it was on YouTube. I think now it's maybe on Netflix. Oh, no, 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 wait. No, it's a YouTube. Uh, oh, yeah, YouTube. That's what you said. 
Oh, it's in New Oh, you guys are near Zakimi Dome. We'll have to stop by one of these days. Say hi, meet in person. Ichiro says he likes the movie Hacksaw Ridge. Oh, it's on Netflix. So Netflix must have bought it out. Because I remember when it first came out, it was on YouTube. Neither of us have a Netflix account, but... We do. Oh, from Tyler? Yeah. We just don't have, like, a TV, so we don't really just watch. Yeah, I'm, I'm so much more into YouTube right now. <laughs> yeah, we just sit in front of our computers. Are we ready to go? Uh... Yep, so... Here's our YouTube channels, by the way. Just a bit of shameless self-promotion here. I feel a little ashamed. You feel a little ashamed? <laughs> I've never been good at promoting this. Oh, cool. I could scroll up past it. Oh, wait. Does that mean... No, that should be fine, actually. Okay. Let's, uh... All right. Let's get going. You guys cool. ready for another drive? Live in Okadon. Morning, Paul. Morning, Gina. All right, now it's my turn to eat. Ooh, from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I love Kuala Lumpur. That was that was one of our favorite places when we backpacked Southeast Asia. That place is awesome. That's stupid. What? <laughs> the pin common takes up the whole thing. On here, too. Oh, they that's really why I brought the laptop. Well, that's why they really want you to, like, they want, really want you to see it. And it won't scroll with the, uh... Hi, Mary! Hey, Auntie! Apparently my aunt's watching. Nice, nice. You'll get a strange feeling while you're there. When Winnie was driving here fan, she said she missed the beep of putting the car in reverse. Like the car sent me. Oh yeah, that's right. None of that. Yeah. What are we doing, Mr. Toyota? So how's everyone doing? We should visit uh, Oki Life. One okay, of let these me. Days. Uh... They wanted three tamago sandals. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna change the quality down Next to. Next time we go to Oki Life headquarters, we'll bring three tamago sandals. Daniel, we love Kuala Lumpur, by the way. I think we said that already. Yeah, I did. Hi, Sai. Is that your phone or is that? The loading? Yeah. Uh, I think it's the laptop. Oh, that's not. There we go. Straighten you guys out a little bit. Let me know if you guys are seeing everything okay. Yeah, it looks good. Let us know if you hear everything okay. We got the AC on the phone, so it's probably going to be a little loud. But the phone overheats if we don't do it that way, so. Sometimes, yeah. I took the case off, though. Okay, let's try these sandwiches. I'll talk to you. You, mm -hmm. like, you like the teriyaki chicken egg sandwich, right? Mm-hmm. See, I, I'm the plain, I like plain egg sandwich. That's my favorite. I tried that teriyaki one, and it's good, but it does not beat the regular egg sandwich. What are we doing here? 
week three of lockdown, bored, Ray says. Oh, you guys are... Can't go to the beach or parks. Oh, wow. I heard... That's uh, a couple. Oh, wow. Yeah, I heard Jake allegedly talking about this, and I thought this was ridiculous. But Jake, Jake was telling me that, because he's from Hawaii, and he said that people... Uh, the, I guess the governor is going to open up hiking as an exercise, but mm. you have to go by yourself. You can't go. Oh, by that's anything. dumb. But like, can you imagine how dangerous that could be too? Like you're hiking by yourself in the wilderness of Hawaii, and some. So he, Jake is covering a, a like a. Go hiking by yourself. <laughs> um. I mean, I guess he can, but they should do like a. People hike by themselves. No, I know, but. It does seem dangerous, like you said. Plus, well, there's kind of boring to me. There's a kid, apparently. It was, this is years ago. It's a true true crime thing. Uh, a kid was hiking up the stairway to heaven in Hawaii, which is supposed to, it's illegal to do it in, in the first place because it's really dangerous. But he ended up he ended up getting like he never came home, and people don't know if he fell because of how dangerous it is to climb that. Or if there was, he got abducted. And so Jake's covering that case because he's like, it's so many bad things can happen if you go hiking on your own. Mm -hmm. Like you might as well not even open up that ability. It's a good concept. Almost there. Get some exercise. Yeah, almost there. But, but like, be like, okay, go, go be... with family, go with roommate, go with people you're living with, you know. Well, I don't think they can prove that. But maybe like, no groups larger than two or something. Yeah, that's a good one. No groups larger than two. I should... Jersey, today is 71 degrees. Everyone can see us and hear us just fine. Cool, cool. Missing the beautiful air and weather. Sacramento has the smoky air due to the fires. Yes. I know a few, a couple of our friends have been uh, like on evacuation watch for a, a little bit because they have fires close to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, California is just going crazy it's usually, with the fires. It's it's usually like this each year though. Yeah, we have a couple friends that have been evacuated, right? No, we have a couple friends that have almost been evacuated. I don't think Morgan's been evacuated oh. yet. I don't think Ariel has they're, either. They're both in the red zone though. Mm -hmm. Like, we could tell you to leave anytime, so be ready. Yeah. Mm. We always lived in the city when we were in Sacramento, so we never really had to worry about that. But we have a few friends that live up in the in the mountains, in the boonies. Mm -hmm. Especially where Ariel is, that Browns Valley. I mean, the smoke was still crazy. Oh yeah, it was like last year. It was completely orange sky. We couldn't even really let our... I felt bad for our dog because we couldn't really walk him. So, right now we're on 75. And we're about to pass BC and Gate 2 Street here up on the right side. And this is Coza Bowling Alley right here, if you see that bowling pin up there. The front's pretty run down, but it actually is still open. In the back there. And BC Street is right here. To your right, you should be able to see kind of hideaway bar there. Mm -hmm. And that's BC Street. Yeah. Should have flipped the camera, I guess. Well, it's too late now. Don't, don't All right. Well, anyway, we're going towards the. Uh, yeah, and then this street. Yeah, so this is that main intersection. So a lot of you guys have told me that uh, this intersection used to have the overhead bridges, the pedestrian walkways. But this is like the main road, the corner. That way is straight to gate two, and this is where all the bars and clubs and stuff are. I wonder if uh, fifty degrees here in Connecticut. It looked like Mars in the Bay Area the other day. It was crazy. Oh, yeah. I think we saw some pictures of San Francisco, and it was, like, yeah, it was crazy. really weird. Although, we were there a couple years ago in San Francisco. Everyone 
was last, last. Everyone was wearing masks in San Francisco, which was a crazy sight to see, not these days, but a few years ago. Crazy. Mm -hmm. And it was like, out of choice. Oh, this is your hometown? Very cool. Has anyone actually been to uh, the Hacksaw Ridge here? Are there some of you that didn't know it was in Okinawa like we didn't for a long time? It might just be us. We're pretty ignorant when it comes to that stuff. Yeah, it might just be us. That's cool that they're actually filming Cobra Kai in Okinawa instead of Hawaii, like they did last time. Yeah, maybe we can go, um... I think they've already filmed. Oh, they did? Well, if it's coming out, season three's coming out, they've already filmed it. Mm. We could be an extra. David's been there. Wow. Bernard. It's nothing like the movie, though. Well, yeah, everything's probably... I don't know if they, I don't think they even filmed Hacksaw Ridge in Okinawa, did they? Yeah, they did. Did they actually film it here? Yeah. That's what the um, movie, movie thing says. Lived near there long ago. Oh well. Didn't know about it. Ichiro, Oshiro, didn't know about it. Mm. Yeah, I think that's a story more told by Americans, because Japanese people, I don't think, really know that much about Desmond Doss. Uh, I didn't know that the movie happened, and I was pissed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you were here before that, then they make a movie about it. <laughs> and you're like... Damn. And I was there for 10 years or whatever. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be our first time actually going there and seeing it as well. Okinawa okay, has a lot of spots like that, though. But neither one of us have seen the movie, so. Prior to reading the. Um, Wikipedia going live here. I only knew that um, Hacksaw Ridge was a war movie. I didn't really know anything. I didn't even know what war it was part of. I knew that Andrew Garfield was in it from Spider-Man. Mm. The battleground is much smaller in real life. It's cool though. I saw it too, didn't know it was filmed on Okinawa. Uh, I'm surprised it was filmed on Okinawa, considering how small it is. Just like imagining a bunch of these crew members. Oh, interesting. Like Mel, can you imagine Mel Gibson on Okinawa? Yeah. That's crazy to me. I always was this just pre, like... pre-crazy Mel Gibson or like post-crazy Mel Gibson? What was it? It was the Passion of Christ that turned him, right? Yeah, he, he went kind of like, he kind of pulled a Britney Spears. Um, the Medical Readiness Center on Tori is named in honor of Desmond Doss. Mm. Oh, it wasn't filmed in Okinawa, that's what David said. Yeah, I, I can't think of it being filmed in Okinawa. I would think it would be a bigger deal. Sharon says, been there, great tour, very educational. Man, I can't believe I left a week ago. It feels like I'm just on vacation and will return soon. Oh, yeah, Joe. Oh, I feel that. 
We were just having lunch with you a week ago. <laughs> yeah, it feels like we were just having lunch with you a week ago. <laughs> I know, and it sucks because right as Joe left is when all the restrictions lifted. Mm. Yeah, I'd feel that way too. I mean, if you lived in a place for a long time and then you leave, you're just like, ah, eh, this is just a little vacation, you know? We'll go back. Pretty soon, Joe. Yeah, the reality yeah. will set in. <laughs> yeah. You'll be on our live videos 50 years from now saying, you know, I used to, used to live there. We, Back in 2020. Well, how old I'm just kidding. Live videos 50 years from now. How old are we? 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. We'd be doing this when we're 80. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then people would be like, man, get on virtual, yeah. grandpa. Yeah. Like, I'm what still you, on Facebook. <laughs> what are you doing on Facebook? <laughs> just kidding. Just teleport, grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> just, just go there. You don't even have to talk. Just go. <laughs> you could be there in three seconds. <laughs> oh, man. Can you imagine what the world's going to look like when we're 80? It might not even be here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that, well, that the way everything's going? Be a black hole. What is it? It was the... The Mayans were just dyslexic. Yeah, Mayans instead were dyslexic. They meant to put 2021 instead <laughs> of 2012. <laughs> My brother was an extra in the movie. Oh, wow. Cool. Oh, that's cool. Never hated going back after going to the States on leave. Find a way. <laughs> when all my household goods show up, then it'll be reality. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okinawa 5 It'll be 95. Bill and Ted it or something. <laughs> so we're still on 75. I um, need another phone holder because this is not working. Keeps falling. Oh, there's the rose garden. A lot of people want us to eat there. I've never had it. I'd like to show you guys. I, I probably could have set this up if I had planned it like last night or something, but uh, I'd like to throw a map overlay on the live video so you guys can see exactly where we are. Maybe we could try OBS one of these days. Yeah, since I have the laptop with me here, I could do it through like OBS Studio or something. Um, you know, uh, what is it, Pokey Life? Mm-hmm. Maybe we could collab with them for one of our lives. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. I don't know if they're still in here. Oh, I don't either, but like, that would be really cool. I see a lot of people with Oki Life stickers, and it's really cool to see that they're doing their thing. Yeah. Yeah, you could use OBS, Joe says. Yeah, I'm thinking- Yeah, I got it all set up on my desktop. I don't know how I'd use my phone as a webcam, though. Uh, That's well, thing. you could just, you could just... Unless Apple has. Apple actually might have something. Well, no, you could, uh, OBS. Yeah. You could just, uh, web media, like, the specific video. Mmm. Specific So screen. simple. You're so right. Oh, gosh, I'm so smart. Yeah. More. Well, actually, the quality is really low, though. Oh, yeah, that's true. That wouldn't work. Never mind, I'm not as smart as I thought I was. Oh, actually... We'll figure it out. No, you know what? You're right, though, because I wouldn't stream it. Um, yeah, tether it and run it as a second display. Yeah, you could use Apple uh, Sidecar. It oh, could yeah. just be a second dis does, display. Does my laptop have that, that capability? Uh, if it has the latest... I think your laptop does, yeah. 
But, um, yeah, I think there is a tethering. Yeah, Joe's on to something. You can do it. We get, we'll figure it out. Thank you, Joe. Test some stuff. Joe's smart with this stuff. He's a technical guy. Yeah, we don't have to put the video on a stream. Maybe we could try it for next week's live. See, next week's live I was thinking about doing maybe like Sam's by the Sea or something. Oh, yeah. Doing like a Sam's by the Sea month thing. That'd be cool. So, this is, uh... Kadena. Foster. Foster? That's what I meant. Just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know the bases, guys. Sometimes I do miss I'm having learning. access to the base. Especially when I want to get somewhere fast. I could just go one base and then drive through the base to get to the other side of it. Yes, that would be cool. Woohoo, just man. Yeah, Rennie was using her phone as a second cam, used OBS while on the phone was tethering to her PC. Oh, sweet. Okay. I yeah, love. that would be perfect. Technology is so awesome. She was live streaming, making Star Wars cosplay. Oh, very cool. How's that? You just passed Kubasaki. We did. We That's did. true. We did. Kubasaki Rugrats. What was there? Dragons. Dragons. Oh. That was pretty close. I don't know why uh, Kadena didn't pick up freaking Okinawan stuff. They picked up Panther. I'm like, that doesn't even exist here. <laughs> well, how generic can you be? You're like, can I, what's the most generic high school mascot? <laughs> it, it really is. <laughs> that was my middle school. Because they're Ryukyu dragons. I'm like, it makes sense. We could have been like the freaking Kadena quail. The Okinawan quail, or I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that would have been better than Panther. Or the Okinawan, or the Kadena, Kadena. There's already Habus. I feel like at least 30% of schools across the U.S. are Panthers. <laughs> macaroni Grill is by those towers you just passed. They don't have Macaroni Actually, Grill anymore. It's called a. Pl uh, pl yeah, they closed it down. S from what I heard, though, it wasn't a good... It was very bad. Yeah, it, it was wasn't a good awful. macaroni crew. The Chili's. Dragons okay. Building 1. Graduated there, 73. Kadena Cowboys. <laughs> yeah, that would have been appropriate. Kadena should have been... It could have been, like, Samurai. No. Ooh. Okinawa isn't really known for their Samurai. That's true. That's a, that's a nightmare, I think. You sure? Because there's a ghost samurai in the Kadena uh, building 2283. I did a video on it. Yeah, my aunt saw a samurai when she was a kid too. Yeah. And I mean, they do have samurais, but it's not like it's not it's just known, known for, for it. They could have been like the uh, Kadena Sanshin. Kadena Yankees. <laughs> Yankee. It's called Terra House now, Joe says. Uh, I am having Actually, they changed it, Joe. You're already... I'm just kidding. <laughs> Actually... It'll start happening, though. Eventually, you'll start saying stuff, and we'll be like, Actually, uh, you're wrong. <laughs> um, there's a... Terra House had some really good briskets. Boo, no macaroni grill. Oh, no, the macaroni grill was so bad. There is nothing more intimidating about a quail. <laughs> nothing intimidating about a quail. That would be the irony in it, though. What if they had, like, the best teams? Yeah, nobody would... They're just like, you're losing to a quail? Like, yep. Yes, you are. Or they could have been the Akamata, which is one of the o other Okinawan... Um, what is it? Uh, snake. And it's the only mortal enemy of the Habus. And it's not even poisonous, but it, it's, like, strong enough to kill a Habu. Could have been the Kadena mongoose. That would have even been better. Futinma shrine coming up on the right. I'm like still talking about it. <laughs> Everyone's moved on with their life. Yeah. I'm like <laughs> Kadena mascot sucked. <laughs> <laughs>
Sorry. You have to show some Kintown taco rice so my mouth can water. Actually, Derek, we have been there. We've done a live video eating while, taco though. rice in Kintown at uh, Gate One. Yeah, the Gate One Taco Rice. Gate One Taco Rice place. So that's one of these live videos on this channel at some point was that. But we're definitely going mean, to do not... a lot of things like again and again and again. Yeah, because we've grown a lot since then. Yeah, I'm now 5'9". <laughs> and I was 5'9 then. I haven't grown that much. I've grown at all, actually. I think I've shrunk. I think I've grown <laughs> sideways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've gained an extra three inches around the side. <laughs> uh, so hey, nice. y'all. It's so nice that Mongoose. Oh, yeah. They could have been a mongoose. That's what I said. Oh, yeah. Everyone's a green. Yeah, they could have been the Kadena mongoose. Or feral cats. <laughs> That's a good one. That would be good. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah. Oh, Pineapple Park. Yeah, we... <laughs> the Kadena Pineapples. <laughs> <laughs> the Kadena Pineapples. <laughs> I think they mean for the live video. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm, uh, I'm still on the topic. There's Mihama, American oh, Village. Wow, the ocean's gorgeous. Yeah, nice view we'll probably there. probably see it from Axel. Can't really see it. Taking the ferry to Leishima. Iejima. Iejima. Oh, yes. I would like to take the ferry. We haven't done a lot of the ferry tours and stuff because um, we haven't had money. So, But now that we have a job, we can actually do more fun stuff. Well, we did pause for a long time because of the... Pandemic, too. Pandemic. I know it's not raining, guys. The reason I'm using the... Um, the windshield wiper it's is because she's trying to get in the right lane. No, just kidding. it's because <laughs> there's little pools of uh, condensation at the bottom of the glass from the air conditioner, and it's bothering me. Mm. How's that? Laptop? Nice cover. Nice cover. <laughs> You're supposed to be my husband. <laughs> You're supposed to support me. I do support you. Here on San Antonio. I don't know if you guys can see the ocean. Holy crap, your phone's really hot. Yeah, I'm telling you. We need to turn up the It gets uh, toasty. Actually, it's not that hot. That's not that hot. It gets way hotter than that. Here on San Antonio. San and I keep saying that. San Antonio? I keep saying San Antonio. <laughs> I'm trying to read this comment. Their mascot is the unicorns. I can't explain to you <laughs> the, rid <laughs> the ridiculous that would endure if you lost to the unicorn. Yeah, the ridiculousness. That would be good. I like that one. We were uh, we were actually thunder. Kadena Kijimuna would have been fine because it's K. You know, like the mythical Okinawan tree fairies. The army does airborne operations there. Is it low tide? Uh, it looks like no. It, I mean, all we can see the o is the ocean, and there's a lot of water there, so Probably. maybe it's high. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a smart ass. Well, I don't know. Actually, it might be low tide. Usually. Usually around this time, but doesn't it depend on, like, the moon and stuff, too? I don't know looks like such a beautiful day. You know, Matt and I haven't still had our uh, wedding, what is it, what do you do? Honeymoon? Honeymoon? Yeah, we haven't oh, had yeah. a honeymoon yet. Went on our anniversary to IE Island. Awesome yeah. place. EA. <laughs> EA. <laughs> San Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, gets me. I love it. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm gonna think about that every time I think of San Antonio <laughs> Visiting the Why, why, why Why, why, why 
or is it pronounced E? <laughs> e like Resort. Kanye West. On EA Island. Is it experience? Purple unicorns. Sani, Toe, and Yo. <laughs> this is Ray. Sani, Toe, and Yo. <laughs> That's good. Oh, hi, oh, Chris. Nui, hello. Nui! You always say that. I do. Her, yep. her name's really fun to say. <laughs> In um, that specific way. Nui. Let's all say it together. Nui, wait. <laughs> you left Nui. me hanging. <laughs> How many of you actually said Nui that way? Nui. It's all welcome, Nui. I hope that's how she says her name. Yeah, we're like mispronouncing it the whole time. <laughs> I have a feeling we might be. I don't know how else you would pronounce it. I, it's so weird to me that there's like a Harley Davidson shop there. One hour later, Kadena. I got it, the Kadena Raiders. <laughs> Drive safely. How's it, Chris? Ohio. Okay. I love that y'all are starting to know each other in the comments. That's cool to me. <laughs> the Kadena Shikwasa. <laughs> That'd be good. Kadena Shikwasa. When we get a meet, Chris yeah. says. Instead we, I think at 6, right? That's when we're meeting Kate. Hello from Michigan. I was there for three months back when I visited my family in 1988. I'm a one-fourth Japanese, hot as hell there. Oh yeah, yeah, it can get pretty hot. 58, oh, is that the road we're on now? Yeah, we're on 58. Now. Oh, okay, we are on 58. Yeah, next time, we should test it out tomorrow or something with the OBS and see how well it works. Yeah, I'm Matt and Kit, I still enjoy watching you guys. From St. Louis, Missouri, you guys always make my day. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you. Julieta. Is that your... Oh, no. Never mind. Oh, this is your Chinese place here. Yeah, that's my Chinese. I want to try that place. Uh. Is Camp Lester still there? Yeah, no. Ba barely? <laughs> I think it's still here, but no, it's the, not... It's not really... Not, like, like, active. Well, there's, like, households in the back, but the... Because the, I think there's still a school there, but I don't think um, the... Uh, the hospital is no longer there, which I actually kind of want to see the hospital before they tear it down, if they ever tear it down, because mm. that's where I was born. We went to Yoran Island, oh, yeah, best Yodan. pineapples, Futenma. My son was born there in 2006. Ooh. I love Nitori. Oh yeah, Nitori we just passed. Nitori is awesome. I thought we were doing an ocean day. Who? Chris, aren't we going to Comprehensive? Yeah, but we're going at six. Yeah. Not the hospital anymore. Six is kind of late, this show. Mm. Well, we weren't gonna do an ocean. I wasn't planning on doing an ocean day. I was just planning on like walking around. Sam's by the Sea on the right. Oh, is this? Is there a Sam's by the Sea down here? I thought Sam's by the Sea was over by Owasso. Maybe there's two. Well, Sam's has like different, different places. Oh, Jimmy's. Spent 13 years at Kadena and my son was born in Camp Cool. Camp Kuei. Kuei. Kuei was Lester. In 1973. Camp Kuei was, uh, Lester was Camp Kuei before it became Lester. Ah. Uh, That's why na that naval hospital used to be called the uh, Camp Kuei Hospital or something like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sam's Anchor Inn. Okay. Yeah, Sam's is like different types of places. Pipeline Road. Another cool thing is the Japanese Navy Underground Headquarters. 
Is that top secret? Should we be talking about that? <laughs> car following us. Yeah. So hopefully we don't lose you guys. Um, sometimes it gets weird when with like certain places on the island we don't get good reception. So hopefully the reception will be okay. Yeah, it should be okay. Army used to run the hospital before the Navy took it over. Yeah. Uh, That's why I was like Camp Quaid. So many hearts, thank you. I can't see who's making the hearts though. But I do it. like the hearts. We like the hearts. Oh, <laughs> well, Grandma, be careful. Ah, uh, Bacha. Oh, that's a Grandpa. Sorry, Grandpa. Ah, uh, Grandpa. Careful. Jicha. Hello from Portland. Hello, Portland, from Okinawa. Actually, I heard Oregon is pretty bad with the fire, too. Idaho, oh, yeah, how's the fires there? Idaho's pretty bad, too. My, my cousin, you know, Danielle, she works for the hospital. Yeah. Um, the fire was, like, right there at the hospital she works at, so they almost had to evacuate all the seniors. HQ is secret squirrel classification. <laughs> Can you say hi to Davin? Haley and Davin was born in Okinawa. Hi, Devin and Haley. Hi. Hello. Hey, Sean. It's Devin. Devin, yes. Devin and Haley. So smoky. Ooh. Sure looks different there in 1973. I'm in Florida now. Oh, wow. Thank you from Las Vegas. Oh, you're welcome. Delaware. I think that's the first. You guys are all over. Yeah, we had one from Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, I'm surprised we had a Kuala Lumpur. Usually everyone's in uh, America. Because, you know, it's Okinawa. We're in America. We're from America. I'm from America, I guess. Hi there from Georgia. Looks like a gorgeous day there, South Dakota. Very cool. Yeah, it's super nice here today, I think. It's a little on the warm side. But it's good. Left Oki four years ago. Ooh. Went to my favorite boba place and just realized they had boba tea named after Okinawa. Ordering it. Oh, you know what? Some places do. Yeah, they it's call. a brown sugar uh, boba tea. Yeah, usually. Yeah, they had that um, when we were in California too, the boba places. It's actually really good. It's really sweet, but it's really good. Yeah. Florida. Did you guys check out Oban Festival last month? Um, we didn't really have an Obon Festival um, because everything was canceled due to the pandemic. Um, yeah. And it was also Typhoon that weekend. So we didn't really have an Obon Festival. Yeah. All the festivals have been canceled. The Aesop Festival, the Orion Beer Festival, the Obon Festival. The pandemic took it all. Oh, Devin and Hakey's? Haley? No, it says Hakey's. The first time it said Haley. No, she's, uh, Derek is correcting. H-A-I-K-E-Y-S. Or high keys. Case. High keys. High keys. That would be like... Japanese way. I miss Okinawa so much. We left in March. Oh wow. Yeah, jaw she, dropped. Joe left last week. All I remember <coughs> from the roads was Route 1. Hey y'all, South Carolina. Cool. Hello. 
up to Naha Marathon have all been canceled. Oh, wow. Yeah, everything's been canceled. And Chris and I were going to try to run the Naha Marathon. That's why I... we got off the hook, Chris. <laughs> the driver is really patient. I was there not too long ago, Philip says. This is a very steep road. I would hate to be on it with a transmission, manual transmission. Oh, yeah. Where are you now, Highway 58 in Naha? No, we are, uh, we're about to hit 153. 153? Mm -hmm. We're going to Udasoy. Yeah, I'd like to figure out how to show you guys, but... We can test it out before the live next week. Yeah. I was in Marasha. Next year, World Ride Unchina Namchu. Oh, tight. Ooh, that was a rough road. Oh, man. Route 1 has been Highway 58 for decades now. Ah, interesting. Okay. So, Highway 58 was Route 1. Oh, thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Oh, how I miss beautiful Okinawa. Pipeline. The clouds are just intense and gorgeous. How much closer time-wise? It's almost midnight here. Oh, we are, oh, yeah. it's about three minutes. Three minutes. It's midnight here. Yeah, sorry guys. We normally used to start these at 10 or 11 our time, but we work graveyard shifts now, and so... Yeah, it's been hard for us to get up. Yeah. We're going to bed at like 4 or 5 a.m. Yeah, we usually don't get up till about 1 or 2. So, it's been... So we've been starting a little bit later, but... Yeah, which I feel really, really bad because I know a lot of you guys are like midnight time. So we're near... Where are we? At? We're in, um... We're in Udasoy. We're Udasoy, about three minutes yeah. away. Yeah, we're driving to Hacksaw Ridge. It was randomly raining earlier when I was outside. Yes. Yeah, it was raining when we left. It was like barely, but. It sucks because I have to look at these, the map while I'm driving, so like, it's kind of making me nervous. Oh, live video interrupted. Oh no. I feel like we've been here. It might have been the park, right? That you and Chris went to. Oh, is it? Yeah, Chris. This is the park we went to. With the giant rolly slide. Are we back on there? Yeah. perform ESA with a small group of people. ESA. ESA. In Wichita, Kansas at an Asian festival, but it was canceled due to COVID. Uh -huh. Give some of that rain to the Western US. Oh yeah. yeah that would be nice. They don't no apologies, so thankfully you're doing it. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. We, um, we would like to start earlier. Yeah. Too. I actually don't like being, I don't like going to bed at 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I don't mind me over, like, working late, but I don't want to work that late, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, originally we like were supposed to work late. Yeah, to like midnight or 1 o'clock, I guess, would be okay, but we've been 
people at like 4 or 5 a.m. I'm in Trenton. Abandoned castle ruins. <laughs> this wasn't the abandoned castle ruins. If you're talking about my video. Okay, so this is the area, but I'm not seeing the parking spot. The slide is probably still under. Yeah, I don't. I've noticed they don't really fix those slides. So we are in the area, but now I just gotta find a place to park. Have you ever been on the musical road? Actually, that would be a good one for a live video if we could capture it. I'm sure we'd be able to capture well, this, it. There's a lot of like graves here. Yeah. Here. I've been to Desmond Doss's grave site in the uh, Chitan Noga National Cemetery. The Heroes Park. So, yeah. Hacksaw Ridge is actually in the middle of Udasoy Castle Ruins. Oh, so I've been there before. Yeah, let me uh, let me go ahead and get to Udasoy Castle Ruins because I went the wrong way. Sorry. Yeah, we haven't been to the Melody Road like on a live video or anything. We've been to it, but not on the live video. That would be kind of fun, I guess. You just drive through it. Get to. You're not in the right area, David says. Yeah, I know. You should be able to park on one of the random parking lots inside. You have to go, so Joe says you have to go back and forth on the musical road. It's like 20 second long. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll just go over it like a hundred times. So many tombs, lots of spirit. You're on the bottom of the hill, you need to go back. Yeah, I know, I'm going back right now. There's like a hacksaw ridge Yeah, parking. she's looking at the... There's a Hacksaw Ridge parking. She's looking at the map. When we first got to Japan, my wife thought it was cool to take pictures in front of them. Oh, the monuments. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You're not really supposed to take pictures of them. They're actually not really supposed to be on camera at all, right? They are right now. Sorry guys, I messed up. So you know where to go now? They said there's Hacksaw Ridge parking, so that's where I'm headed to. Okay. Record it and use it as a musical intro. <laughs> as the intro music. That the music is super like somber though. Oh I don't miss the cars beeping in reverse. That's funny, because Joe was just saying how they missed that. I actually miss it. I think it's, I missed it when I was in the States, because I'm very aloof, so it's nice to have something to be like, hey, you're, you're in reverse. Needle Rock is straight up from where you are now. Yeah, I gotta get to uh, the I top. think, uh, yeah, I'm noticing the video has a, uh, maybe a 15, 20 second delay. Music is super eerie. It'd be a bad intro. Yeah, it would be. Look at that Oyocha sign. Yeah, that's crazy. I've never seen a billboard for that. We're almost there, guys. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's not bad. I was going to the Desmond Doss Point, not the Des like the Hacksaw Ridge parking, and that was my bad. Mm. Probably follow this bus. Is this a tour bus? I do not think so. Just a regular bus. Go by the Udaswai Castle Info Center. Park for Hacksaw Ridge is just past that. My car doesn't do the beep. Is it because it's a manual? Oh, Chris? That's a good point. I don't know. I mean, I don't think cars need to beep when they back up. Because, like, you know, in the States, the only cars that beep when they back up 
is big ones, and it's not for the driver. <laughs> it's outside the car to let people know that you're a big truck backing up, you know? It's, oh, we, we can't be like, Joe, this is the traffic report. How's my battery doing? I turn 19. They're actually tearing down the haunted Takahata Hotel. Yeah, they tore it down already. Yeah, they tore it down. I did a video on it. Yeah, actually Kit did a two-part video on it on our YouTube channel. And it's actually a really good video. That was a while ago. That was like three months ago. So excited to be going back to Hacksaw Ridge. Thank you so much. Yeah, sorry for you guys that it's like so late there. Staying up just to see it yeah and then we're getting lost well it's hard to maneuver because i have to hold my phone on this because i don't i don't have a place to put my phone do you want me to be the like that yeah i need to get another phone maybe we'll do that today on our way back I don't know if this is it, but this, they said this is the parking spot for it, so hopefully that's it. And yet people still walk behind me when I'm backing up all the time. <laughs> Racist. <laughs> it's oh man. Joe and Chris and now Sean are all talking to each other. This road is super confusing. I like the big trucks that announce when they... Oh, yeah, that's right. Here they just announce it. They, like, actually say words. 100 people viewing, Chris says. I have 93. 97. Worth the wait. We're good. I got lost the first couple times. I should add this. I can add this, um... We pay for like a subscription for music, so we're allowed to use it in like videos and live videos Eventually and stuff. Eventually we're gonna have like a whole production car. <laughs> yeah, we're just like gonna have like, of... we're gonna have like a triple monitor set up in the passenger seat here while we uh, do these live videos. <laughs> we actually could bring like the real camera and plug it into the laptop what are we and gonna, use it. What are we gonna do for live in Oki when we start traveling? We're going to be live in somewhere else. Live in Oki. This week, Cambodia. <laughs> uh, I think I was supposed to turn there. Did yeah. you miss it? No, nope, that was the elementary school. I'm okay. Oh, it's coming up. Where the f is this place? <laughs> Where is this? Oh, it was that way. Uh. Oh, make a U-turn here. It says a sharp turn right here. I got lost the first couple times I went there also. Well, this is, this is an elementary school. It says you can go this way. It's taking you back. Hacksaw. It's literally just a street back this way. Keep going. It just takes us back to the main road. No, it takes you to that corner. This is where you want to be. Right here well, is where you put the GPS. This is where they told me to put, or the Google. Oh, thing. there's a parking lot. Okay. Is this it? This is it, I think. Park visitors only. Okay, I think we figured it out. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, let me get back to your comments. Hope it's the right spot. Okay, now 5 loves issuing tickets. Oh. Uh, let's park. I always just talk to myself, apparently. What are you talking about? Chris? At one point, it was like 100. Uh, okay, I think this is it. It says Japan Heritage, so. Naha Monorail. Oh, yeah, the monorail actually would be a good live video. Just go through the whole thing. 
do that during the pandemic? Close quarters with a bunch of people? construction at a source supposed to oh yeah they're trying to expand the monorail like a lot farther they have been actually okay i think we are uh, yeah have a webcam point at the beach just have it on timer turn it on oh yeah and that's this concludes live in okinawa no, just kidding no. <laughs> just kidding it's very hard to find the first time hack lot hacksaw lot ridge lost ridge <laughs> All right, let's no go. No ways in Oki. We should go. We can <laughs> All right. The yeah, I'm gonna close the laptop. We'll switch to the phones. <sighs> you could disconnect the internet. Oh well, actually. Oh yeah, I guess you can. All right, let's do it. Oh, you flipped it. Okay, guys. Um, do you want me to bring the other phone or you can read the comments, I guess? Okay. Yeah, when I'm holding the phone, I know I say this every time, but when I hold the phone sideways, oh, let me get my phone cases here somewhere. Think about getting another iPad. Here, can you take that? I'm looking for, where's the phone? Hello. Case? I don't know where your phone case is. Can I? Oh. I yeah, I don't know where your phone case is. Sorry, technical, difficult, not technical, just difficulties. Oh, oh shouldn't, probably shouldn't forget my wallet. I can just look at my double chin. Worked hard for it. Cases. I don't either. Oh, wait. Is it in your bag? Yeah, I put it in my bag. I might have. Yep, that's it. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, alright. Hello. Hi. Okay. What? CrossFit? today so they said it's a long walk from where we're at oh is it this is the parking lot though isn't it this is the parking lot that I was told well Google. yeah you're kind of far from the site I mean this is the Hacksaw Ridge parking lot according to Google I'm sure they have multiple spots Referencing your double chin. Drink lots of water. Yeah, we'll have to find a Han Baiki vending machine. Oh, you have one too? So, Udasoy Park South Entrance Administration Office. See, I can read Japanese, and then I translated it. Oh, would you look at that? They have it written in English. Okay, I can't read any of the comments. This is what my comment thing looks like. Well, maybe you shouldn't then. Maybe you should take off the phone. I also can't scroll. Sorry, I can't see your guys' comments. So here's maps. But we're just going. Did, you said this was Hacksaw Ridge parking? That's what it said on Google Maps. Okay. Wow, it's so hot.
Let me see, Urasoi.今日は蒸し暑いですね。ま。はい、蒸し暑い。ウラソエミュージアムはすごい遠い。It Could you hear the them playing basketball in the gym there? I'm sure you guys can hear that. It's pretty loud. Yeah, it does. It's a really nice day though. Yeah, you can read the comments. I'm trying. I can't. Nope, can't hear. Oh, they couldn't hear the basketball. Oh. That's all right. It's so hot. And these hills. Are crazy. It's okay, we need the exercise. Here's something. I can't even see what I'm facing. It's so bright, the screen. Oh, there's the monorail. So, that way? Wow, that's really pretty. I'm following you. No, I don't know where we go. Good day for Umi Sports. You're the one with the map. All I can see is the comments. I'm, I don't know where to go. All right. So. Someone let us know then. There's monument in front of Urasoi Castle. Is that it? Or there's the Urasoi Castle site? Well, they're both that direction. South entrance. Because this is what it's looking like to me. Where it says Desmond Point mm -hmm. is over here. Oh yeah, that's what we want. So we just need to go up. David says go left. left. Oh yeah, because look, I think it goes this way. Okay. Alright, left is this way. The clouds are so pretty. Snake warning sign. Yeah, I'll tell you, the snake warning signs are a lot more common than the snakes. I guess that's probably a good thing, though. Yeah, I haven't really seen a hobby since we got here. I didn't get the Hacksaw Ridge in the 60s, so thanks for taking me there today. Yeah, sorry. Oh, you're welcome. Sorry it's taking us so long. Now, now we gotta walk for a bit. It's a nice day though. It really is. Habu are nocturnal. Takara. Oh, I mean, we were at graveyards. <laughs> and I haven't seen any. Getting there, guys. Parking here. Oh, this is the parking we wanted to be at. It's not that far though. It smells really nice. Like 
nice to be out. Yeah, Chris, we were here and, well, maybe you knew, but I didn't know it. Did we bring towels? No. We broke the first rule of Okinawa summer. Is it still summer? August, September. When does uh, autumn start? Because all the stores have the uh, fall stuff. I know Okinawa doesn't really have autumn or uh, spring. It's just. Zenzai sounds really good. Do you have cow? Yeah. What are you getting? Um, it's not right now, but like eventually on our way out, I would find the Zenzai. Okay. That's weird that they have like a pasta. Or are you following the it's cafe on the left? Yeah, I'm gonna go How do you get to that parking way. lot? Yeah, good question. There's a cafe. Well, when I typed in Hacksaw Ridge, it says Hacks that's the Hacksaw Ridge parking. The one we were at. So. Apex of summer right now, Chris says. It's fall now. Parking straight ahead. Are you reading the comments or are you just looking at a map? We're using our iPhones for the camera. iPhone 11. Kit, kit, kit of the jungle. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're heading there. Here. Yeah, Chris and I were here, actually. We walked this already. Actually, is it this way or the other way? This is right? Well, Uraso is pretty big. Uh, in the map, it says it's this way. Okay. I am sweating. Oh, I'm seeing some spiders. I'm sweating my imaginary balls off. So hot. Oh, that is a huge spider. That one there. Is this it? Where do we go? That way or that way? This does bring you to Hacksaw Ridge, but you're missing the castle. Yeah, I know the castle's down that way. Today's Hacksaw Ridge, though. Yeah, we have been to Cape Hedo. Good asking. Asking. Wow, look at that view. Ooh. Can you imagine having a battle here? That's crazy. Is this in the movie? The view? It wasn't filmed in Okinawa. Oh, and on that side it's Naha. Yeah, I'm telling you, like every castle has better views than uh, Shuri. Shuri's just the main one. It has a good view, but like, man, when you go to the other castles, it's just doesn't stack up. Okay. So you can say you Hacksaw Ridge because currently you it's Hacksaw Ridge. Sure he has a good view from the rooftop. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, the very top. I don't know, I think this one is... A, the best one is that one 
up north where the Sakura was. Which one was that? Nakijin? Yeah, Nakijin, I think, has like the best view of all the castles. Once upon a time, there was no view. Are you running out of breath, Matt? No, I'm okay. Yeah, the humidity, I think, already is kind of some thick air, you know? A lot of sounds going on. Is this it? I think this is it, because this is the end. Oh, yeah, Ah, the climax. It definitely was a climb. This is the climax of our story. Hacksaw Ridge. Here it is, guys. Imagine fighting a battle in this heat. Oh, yeah. Hacksaw Ridge, there we go. We're here, guys. During the Battle of Okinawa. Here, I'll... Hilly, hilly area of the Udasoi Gustu ruins was referred to as Hacksaw Ridge by the Americans and the Maeda Encarpment escarpment by the Japanese forces. The northern side of the area, which was host to American frontal attack, was also home to sheer cliff. When the American military ascended to the top of the cliff, they were met by violent resistance from the Japanese forces from the retreat back down the ridge and leaving them with high numbers of casualties. Desmond Doss, an American combat medic, was conscientious objector on the basis of his religion and so refused to bear arms during the war. Even at the midst of heavy fire from Japanese, Doss was able to save the lives of many soldiers. His actions during the war would later earn him the Medal of Honor. Nice. It's crazy to think that there was more here. We didn't use an axe to climb. So these, uh, the kind of birds these are, um, simis, insect. They're not birds. <laughs> yeah, not birds at all. They're the cicadas. They said you are there. You see the parking garage below. That is where the aid station was, where the wounded were taken. Ah. Oh, yeah, there's the parking garage. Aid station there. The Americans lost thousands in just a few hours of the fight. Oh, wow. You should read the Japanese part afterwards, Chris says. Eh, no one will understand been so long since I heard those sounds. So that's the view. Here, let me do a, uh, I think your phone is overheating. I think it's okay. Here, let me do a rotation, slow rotation here. Chan will understand. All right, I'll read it for you guys. Okinawa. No. Wow. Just kidding. I like Zenzai, but haven't had one for a long time. Imagine enduring a naval gunfire while lowering wounded on the rope. Oh yeah, so this is the ridge, I guess. And uh, yeah, someone said that's the hospital where they took the wounded, that parking garage. Yeah, we'll go this way. We could see a little more on this side.
gym post. It was so weird. They didn't treat us, teach us about this when we were there. Oh yeah. Had no clue about this when I was there. talk about the Okinawan battle very much. And then the mili uh, American textbooks, it's such a small section, you know, it's like an almost glossed over. Yeah, but it wasn't it like... It was one of the bloodiest battles in the world War II. Yeah, it's cool they made a movie about it to like... I just can't imagine like... Like, it's so quiet and serene, you know what I mean? Imagine like, the whole area being full of naval ships. Yeah, just gunfire and bombs being dropped here. Like, can you just imagine that? It's crazy. Yeah, the the Okinawan or the Japanese, I guess, they were up here, right? Mm -hmm. The Americans were trying to get up. Yeah, that's hard to. I mean, if you look out of the pictures and stuff, a lot of this was just completely just destroyed. Hmm. They have a little bench viewing area. Let's see what's on the other side here. Yeah, Chris, we walked here a few months back up to this spot. Thank you for all the hearts. Oh yeah, thank you for the hearts and the cares. There's a video out that shows Dawson, another guy, his captain, I think, who pointed out the site they remembered. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. There's a video of them, like, coming here. That's crazy. Met a lady who was 15 during the battle. Yeah, my grandpa, I think, was eight or nine when it happened. He remembers the bombs being dropped when he was a kid. Yeah, Kit's grandpa remembers all of it. Like, hiding in the caves during the day and running towards the northern part of Okinawa during the, during the night to evade both American and Japanese forces. Lived in the caves to survive. It's crazy. I was actually yeah, crazy. Japanese had the high ground. You know, it was actually crazy. I was, uh, so they, you know, they drafted all the Okinawans and forced them to battle. Mm -hmm. But they used a lot of like the middle schoolers, Okinawan middle schoolers, as uh, suicide bombers. Hmm. So they would trap bombs for kids and then use them as suicide bombers. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. There's a reason there's a big tension between Japanese and Okinawans. I mean, it's, it's something a lot of younger generation, like millennials, don't remember. Mm. But... Oh, just down that hill will bring you back to the car, yeah. David says. I'm like trying to get to the sign, so don't... Oh. Battle site tour. Oh, there's a battle site tour. Can't hear Kit at all, Judy says. Sorry. <laughs> Not only do I mumble, but it's also really loud because of the semis. But what I was saying was, sure. yeah, I'd be a mumble rapper. Um, so what I was reading just the other day was that, as everybody knows, um, Okinawans were forced into the war by the Japanese forces. But what was really interesting and kind of sad to me was during um, the middle schoolers, Okinawan middle schoolers were used as suicide bombers back in the day. So they would strap like bombs and stuff and use the middle school kids as suicide bombers, which I did not know about. Oh yeah. I want a shirt that says Oki Pride. We actually we had a we had a sh clothing brand called Oki Pride clothing brand. This is the one we're wearing. 
hers is all messed up. Yeah, now. it's all old and worn, and we had a, we we made hats, but oh yeah, these hats too. We're thinking about starting it again. Yeah, if you guys are interested, let yeah, us know. Let us know because we'll we're thinking about open up, opening, opening up shop again. Yeah, so making like a clothing slash Okinawa stuff. Just Okinawa stuff. It'd be like apparel, you know. Apparel and apparel for those that really like Okinawa. We also had a, I we because we're photographers and videographers. We had photos of places in Okinawa that we had on canvas too. So people could get canvas stuff. Yeah, actually, we should take a poll at some point for you guys. See if you guys are even interested in that. Yeah. Because it's it's a decent amount of work to set up and maintain and stuff. So, but if you guys are interested, it's a uh, have been thinking. We've been talking about it the last few days to do it again. But yeah, so this is Hacksaw Ridge. Um, you know, I think. It's a shame that this this isn't talked about in both Japanese and American history books that much. I think American history books talk about the Battle of Okinawa more than the Japanese ones do, you know? Like, because uh, Japan for the longest time tries to hide, tried to hide the, their involvement in the war. And it's like, the, Japan messed up. And I think they should be like Germany and just own up to it, you know? Yeah. That's one thing. Man, America is like the strongest military force. And I mean, what they do is right, you know, that they wait for someone to mess with us. We can't just go start in wars, you know. That isn't really a large area and think he crawled all over and wasn't killed and is a true, thank you so much for taking, I hope to return before my son leaves. We actually, uh, we actually are going to be doing a Patreon uh, I have a personal Patreon for my YouTube channel, but I, we were thinking about starting one for Live and Oki, because um, it'll go towards like if we start going to uh, you know the aquariums and stuff, it'll yeah. be nice to be able to. It'll pay for our Sam's by the Sea. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'll be helpful. Um, yeah, the aquarium or the zoo or Pineapple Park and stuff. Yeah, Unless Battle of Okinawa doesn't really park. exist in Japanese history books. No, and it's a real shame that it doesn't. Um, it, it's, it's such a big part of it. And I think that's what, why there's still so much tension between Okinawa and Japan or Japanese and how, why Japanese has so much tension between all of Asia, actually, because Japan's government does not acknowledge their involvement and the horrible things that they did. So I'm going to go by the bench over there, but yeah, this is it. So this is it. This is technically Desmond Point Hacksaw Ridge. This is also um, the site, the site of the castle, Urasoi Castle, which maybe next time we can come back here and tour the castle itself. You had to go through like the deepest grass, huh? <laughs> Especially because you're wearing short shorts. Yeah, there's, but the view is gorgeous. Just views wow, all around. Look at that ocean, though, with the clouds like that. I wonder. I wonder. Uh, I bet you nobody really had any time to really look at and admire the view at the time. Well, I'm sure everything looked absolutely bad. Oh yeah. Yeah, that ocean. Yeah, we'll there. we'll make our rounds through a bunch of different places. Can you imagine like looking out at that ocean there and just seeing a bunch of warships? That's actually a good point, Matt. Just, I don't know if you guys heard Matt, but he said, "Can you imagine looking at the ocean over there and just seeing a bunch of warships?" Warships, and then everything here is just like just decimated smoke and fires and stuff. And on top of all of this, now we have buildings and cities. Everything is just a memory. I don't know if this area was, I don't know, I don't know what it looked like. Well, there's a lot of places that we'd like to go in Okinawa. Um, we've had to 
kind of like back off on a lot of the things we wanted to do because of the COVID restrictions. Not for us specifically, but just to keep ourselves safe. I have uh, two people at the house that's immunocompromised, my grandpa and my uncle, so I have to be careful not to go into too many crowded places. But now things are slowly starting to open up. Um, it's starting to slowly be okay. So hopefully we can start going to more fun places. Uh, I'd really like to go to the aquarium. I have a book I got when I was stationed there called The Battle of Okinawa. I never got to see many of these sites you showed us though. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. The Japanese heavily propaganda to scare the Okinawa. Yep. Yeah. They, I, there was another thing that I was reading that said uh, Japanese, the Japanese forces gave, uh, would kill themselves with grenades and stuff and just suicide and then they would tell the Okinawans that killing themselves would be a much better fate than being captured by Americans. Mm. So yeah, they were told that. They were told that, but Americans were coming in with they Hershey bars and Twinkies, them, you know. Yeah. Like, it's really sad what happened during that time. That's why I think Okinawa is so unique though, you know, it was, it's a very, it's part of Japan, but it has such a rich culture it's on its own, and it's such a beautiful place. Hopefully we can continue to learn from these mistakes from the past, it's the only thing we can hope for. But anyways, thank you guys so much for uh, joining us, um, there's a lot of places, do I consider myself Japanese? Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm Okinawa first and foremost, you know. I think it's one of those things where, like, if someone asked you what you were, yeah, you'd probably say Okinawan, but if it was like in America or something, you'd just be like, yeah. Japanese. Well, most people don't even know where Japanese, where Okinawa is. I think, yeah. I don't, it's hard because I am very much Okinawan, but Japan has also changed a lot. And ever since I was born, Okinawa has been a part of Japan. My passport's Japanese. So it's like, I am and I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, we did a whole video. Like, well, I did a whole video. I, I know people are still wanting me to do a YouTube video from my perspective, being half Okinawan, talking about like my feelings towards the whole half Japanese, half Okinawan thing. So hope one of these days I'll make it. I think for me, I'm just it's a very it's a very touchy subject, and my my views on it aren't very isn't like might touch some others inappropriately. <laughs> I'm I'm not as I'm not as like I think if you're older you definitely care more cuz you were there when it was like taken over and the Japanese were doing bad things. Mm -hmm. But for you it's just like yeah I was born here and it was Japan. I know? think I think uh, both Okinawans and Japanese people don't help the situation. I think Japanese people denying Okinawans the whole idea of them being Japanese isn't helping and Okinawans also, you know, holding that grudge against Japanese people. Because the reality is none of us, most of us, currently were not here at the time. Uh, and so it's just hard. The HQ has marks on the wall from hand grenades being set up. Oh, wow. Set off. There are no, 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 it's okay, Derek. There. It's a good question. I just have to think about because it. Because remains are still there. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I think it really depends on what generation. Um, it's not something I don't understand for sure. I think especially if you've if you lived through the war post war, it's definitely a touchy subject for a lot of people. Ray says, "Wait until you come here. There's a big difference to many people." That's what I was reading. Um, but for me, I think I because I asked a lot of Okinawan younger Okinawan generations too, and a lot of them don't feel as strongly as the older generations do. But, I mean, it's kind of hard. Like, when I went to mainland Japan with Matt, because uh, I have a very thick Okinawan accent when I talk Japanese, and uh, immediately a lot of mainlanders knew that I was from Okinawa, and uh, the way they treated me was definitely a lot more, like, in, they treated me a lot more inferior. So that still exists. Half Japanese, half Okinawan, but grew up in Honshu. Mm. But there's a lot of Japanese people, 
prejudice. Yeah, there's a lot of Japanese people who move to Okinawa and get a lot of prejudice too. So I think the prejudice goes both ways, which doesn't help the situation at all. Okay, well. But we're, yeah, yeah, they do. Uh, in fact, there's a lot of Japanese people that see Okinawans as like, uh, kind of how like America sees Puerto Ricans or uh, Guam, that we're not actually a part of America or a part of Japan, but just like this, like appendage. <laughs> so I don't know. It's interesting. I think. Yeah. The, I mean, the reality is that. Okinawa legally could not be more Japanese. Mm. Well, like it, it's people not people like... often forget that even though Okinawa is part of America for a short while, way before that, for hundreds of hundred years, Okinawa was Japan. Japan took over Okinawa yeah, like a long, a long time ago. A couple hundred years ago. And then the war happened. And then it was part of American territory, and then it went back to Okinawa. So Okinawa has been Japan for a very, very long time, even pre-war. I mean, I think... I don't think they necessarily had a problem with it being Japan. I just think it was, like, during the war that it really was like, oh, wow, they're using us as, you know... A special on Yakuza would be badass. You know, I, I actually used to live next to one, <laughs> a Yakuza. He was a really nice guy. He, uh, I don't know, I, I don't know what he did in his life or spare time, but uh, he used to wear those like Okinawan uh, farmer's hats and he would be out in his backyard just cutting grass and like pruning his trees and stuff. And he was like one of the Yakuza bosses. He had all the tattoos and things. And every once in a while, you'd see a bunch of people in suits coming to his house in black cars and stuff. And he was like the nicest guy. He was so sweet. Um, I don't know. Last time I drove by his house, I didn't see him out there, but that was years ago. That was like 15 years ago. Super, super, super nice guy. But again, I'm sure he did a lot of bad things. <laughs> Would my grandpa ever share stories growing up in Okinawa? Um, I think he would. He's just very, uh, he, he has a hard time talking. Uh, he's, uh, he had a stroke not uh, a while ago. And so it kind of like, um, makes it hard for him to think and talk. So one of these days I'm going to set up a camera and just at least record his stories. Cause there's a lot of interesting stories that he has from when time of war, my grandma actually had the craziest stories. She passed away five years ago but she had some amazing stories that were just like because she was she grew up in Miyako Island of Okinawa the island south of us and she her both her parents died in the war and um yeah she went from being a really rich girl pampered like she never carried her school bags to school that's how rich she was because she had maids and servants doing it and then when she was in third grade the war hit and uh she went from being extremely rich to extremely poor and having to figure out how to survive on her own as an orphan. So that her story is insane. Really amazing story. Strong. Um, we left and the rest was developed before war back then. Yeah, they are. And so many of them I remember I was sitting in San A one time and I was talking to a lady, uh, she was older and she had, she had lived through the war and she's like, you know, for a lot of us, for a lot of us, th those are memories, but for a lot of you guys, those are just texts in a textbook. I thought that was a really interesting way she put it. Your mom's from Miyako? Yeah, my family, my, I have, uh, my, uh, grandma's grandpa or dad was a very high doctor slash Buddhist. He was a very, very good, amazing guy from stories, but he's from Miyako. Anyways, um, we're going to go because we have, we have to get home and we have stuff to do today, but thank you guys so much for tuning in to the live in Okinawa. Uh, we'll definitely be back next week. Right, Matt? Yeah. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. So if you guys, uh, 
We got to do a little bit more work on this site and stuff too. I want to put like the schedule down and kind of cuss. Yeah, I know I have a lot of ants on me. Uh, thank you guys so much. I'm glad you guys were able to join us on our drive up to Hacksaw Ridge. Sorry it took so long. <laughs> yeah, you have a ton of ants on you too. Yeah, sorry it took so long to get up here. Um, I know some of you guys are like almost one o'clock in the morning probably. But thank you for joining us and we will definitely see you. Yep. Thanks for all the likes. Thanks for following us. We'll see you next week. Yep. See you next week. Bye, Bye guys.